Hi, my name is Sean Olson. In this video I'm going to cover the topic of applying planar UVs to a model and how to have the UVs automatically generate planar mapping as you model. For organic models you might not care because you intend on unwrapping after you're done modeling. But if you're using tiling textures and doing more architectural type things, this is often not what you want and you really don't want to have to mess with the UVs half the time. There are several ways to work with this, but I'm going to show you one specific case. So before I show you the solution, I'm going to show you the problem. In this case, we have an editable poly object here. And if we start editing this object and start moving around vertices, immediately you'll notice that the UVs on the faces controlled by that start to stretch, compress, and skew. And this just isn't what we want. The next case is that most functions in, the, in an editable poly that add faces, for example, the extrude function, bevel, cap holes, etc., when they add faces, you can see that the faces that are added, they have no UVs on them that are of any use at all, and they don't flow from the other faces. So this is kind of annoying. Those are the basic challenges that we're going to solve here. I'm going to get out of sub-object mode here. And first I'm going to introduce you to the first modifier that we're going to use, and that is the map scalar modifier. Now there is an object space and a world space. I'm just going to use the object space modifier here, map scalar. And immediately you notice that the UVs have changed. That's to be expected. And one of the things with this technique is it does get rid of your underlying UVs, but that's okay for this this case of what we're going to do and to show you exactly what is going on here we're going to add a temporary modifier just to show you and we're going to add an unwrap UVW modifier and open up the UV editor and as you can see all of the faces on this are flowing one from the next so it took all the faces and unwrapped them and made them flow from one to the next into different areas of the model I'm going to delete that modifier. And you can see here that the scale of this will affect. So if I want these all to be 128 units, then now they're tiling every 128 units across this object. Now if we go back down to the editable poly, and we do show and results, we can then see the map scaler. But if we try to use it right now, we're going to run into a problem. If I add if I go to a single face and start moving it around, it's still skewing and I'm not seeing the map scalar. And the reason is, the reason is we're currently in face sub-object selection and that face selection is being passed up the stack. So the only face on this object getting the map scalar modifier is the currently selected one. So that kind of gets in our way. We don't get to see what's going on. So the next solution is to add on top of the editable poly another modifier. So I'm going to go to this level in the selection in the modify list and I'm going to add a volume select modifier. So what this does is it sets rules for setting the face selection up. So it's not going to use what we currently have in the editable poly. So now if we go back down to the editable poly we start messing with this we turn on end, show end results you're going to see that the UVs, even though they're sliding around, you'll have to deal with that until this is done. The UVs now are automatically scaling and flowing on all of the polygons on the object. So this is helpful. Now we can start actually modeling this and the UVs are going to stay how we might want them. Use the extrude. And you can see the UVs are going with this here. And you can just continue modeling from here and the UVs will seamlessly flow around your model. And at the end you can move them around with an unwrap to a specific location if you need to do that. But in this case, this is one of the easiest ways to keep UV flowing around a model and not have to worry about adding planar mapping to the faces that get added or, or moving vertices. 
Hopefully this is helpful and educational. Thank you and have a good day.